I'm Tom Sherry and I'm Whitney Ward. Thank you for being here. We want to start with new developments tonight after yesterday's grocery store shooting in the Tri Cities. We have team coverage now as we are learning more about what led up to that deadly shooting in Richland. Amanda Rowley has more on the suspects first court appearance, including what she found in those court documents. We're going to start though with Kyle Simchuk, who is live from the scene of the shooting. He's learned more about the victims and the suspected shooters arrest. Kyle, what do we know new today? Well, yeah, Tom, this Fred Meyer is still closed. You can still see the yellow police crime tape up, a reminder of the tragedy that unfolded here. As you mentioned, we're learning more about the victims and what exactly happened inside that store. The man shot to death has been identified as 38-year-old Justin Crumba. A GoFundMe account set up for funeral expenses has already raised nearly $22,000 in less than 24 hours. Police say the second victim, a Fred Meyer employee, remains in critical condition. The alleged shooter, 39 Nine year old Aaron Kelly made his first court appearance where a judge set bond at $1 million. Police described what happened inside the store. He pushed a cart containing a duffel bag and a backpack into the store and then began walking the aisles of the store. Kelly encountered the first victim, Justin Crumbaugh, at 11.03. There was a 10 to 15 second interaction between Kelly and Crumbaugh. Kelly then produced a handgun and fatally shot Crumbaugh. And police say Kelly did not know any of the victims. U.S. Marshals arrested him early this morning near Moses Lake. He didn't have a gun on him, but police are getting a search warrant to look through his car. Now, the local Red Cross here is seeing a huge surge of people wanting to donate blood following this tragedy. They're asking people, though, to make appointments online. Now, coming up at 5, you'll hear from people who were inside the store during that shooting. Reporting live in Richland, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News. Mm. Well, the shooting suspect made his first appearance in court this afternoon in Benton County. Crime 2's Amanda Rowley is joining us now with developments and what we have learned from those court documents. Amanda, what did you learn today? Yeah, Whitney, so Aaron Kelly is accused of killing, shooting and killing one person and injuring another. Now, he is charged with murder and attempted murder. Probable cause documents detail events surrounding the shooting. When Richland police arrived at the store, they found two people with gunshot wounds and they also found several nine millimeter casings near both victims. A Fred Meyer employee employee told police that she recognized Kelly because he was suspected of shoplifting at the store last Thursday. During that incident, another employee took a photo of Kelly near his car. Investigators say the suspect's ex roommate identified Kelly after police posted his photo on social media. Bryant Scott told police Kelly has been spiraling mentally and described him as paranoid. Our crews in Richland spoke with that former roommate. Scott told us when he realized Kelly may be the shooter. I, I was stacking up his, his clothing, that vest, the earbuds. That was, he always walked around with those earbuds or different ones. And he, like his, just his haircut and then that backpack that, that he always had that backpack on. Now, court documents say store surveillance footage shows Kelly entering the store with a cart. He has a brief conversation in an aisle with the first victim before repeatedly shooting them with a handgun. That victim died. Now, Kelly then shot a second victim near customer service before leaving the store. This all happened in less than eight minutes. The suspect did not enter a plea today for the murder charges, but his bond remains at $1 million. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.